I can't believe the Lakers did that! I am very upset. I mean, why? Okay, if you know anything about basketball at all, then you know who LeVar Ball is, and everybody knows who Lonzo Ball is. The Los Angeles Lakers just got rid of my favorite player in the NBA for no, for no reason. We got rid of Alonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart. We got rid of first round draft picks all just to get Anthony Davis. For what reason? I have absolutely no idea. I don't, I don't understand, bro. Like, why? I've been, I've been a Lakers fan since number eight, Kobe. When we first drafted Kobe, when we first got him from a trade from the Charlotte Hornets. He was garbage. He was absolutely garbage. He had he shot like four like 39% from the field. His free throws were like 60%. But then we get Lonzo, who plays good defense, who averaged 10 points a game, six rebounds, six assists, and two steals a game. But oh, he's garbage. That don't make no sense. It makes no sense why the Lakers would get rid of a good point guard. He is a good point guard. But they say we need a score. Why didn't we have LeBron? We had Brandon Ingram. We had Kuzma. We got people who can score. But they're like, oh, we need a point guard who can score. What is Rajon Rondo? Not a score. He can't shoot. And he's old. He's going to be washed up in like two seasons. But we get rid of upcoming Brandon Ingram, upcoming Lonzo, Josh Hart, who's a good role player, and freaking a first-round pick, which is going to be probably Darius Garland, who was going to be. But now it goes to freaking New Orleans. Who knows? I don't I don't know like talking about this it makes me I hurt I hurt on the inside because I knew I knew Lonzo I knew he was gonna do he was gonna he was gonna get right he was gonna average about 13 14 points this season six rebounds seven assists that was gonna be his stat line but now that he he left the big market team to go to a small market he might get better who knows I don't know we don't know it kind of makes me mad it really makes me mad honestly that the Lakers would get rid of it was good to me. If you if you watch any of his defensive videos, you'll see he's different. He's got good. He's like six six, long arms. He he can move his feet and he plays great defense. And yet we trade him for Anthony Davis. We traded three three potentially good players, three draft picks, and I'm pretty sure money for one player. So now our starting lineup is going to be. Possibly Rondo, if he's not hurt. LeBron, Kuzma, Anthony Davis. <laughs> Katavis Caldwell-Pope, maybe, if he's not in jail. Locked up. JaVale McGee, I guess. No, because Anthony Davis would play the five. So, we don't have no more draft picks, so we just gave them all away. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to try to get... Supposedly, we were supposed to try to get Kemba Walker. Supposedly, we are trying to get... Kawhi. Supposedly, we're trying to get Kyrie. We don't need Kyrie because supposedly he's toxic to a team. Kemba Walker's not going to leave Charlotte. Kawhi just won a, a national I mean, uh, finals in Toronto, so he's going to come back and try to win another one. So he's not leaving. He's not going nowhere. Luckily for us, KD's out for the next season. Klay Thompson's out for half the season. So they're not going to be as good. They might be like 6th seed, 5th seed. I don't know who who's who can start. I don't know. I really don't. Our starting lineup was Lonzo, Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, LeBron, JaVale McGee. That was our starting five. Josh Hart came off the bench. Rondo came off the bench. Lance Stevenson came off the bench. Good good bench players. Good role players. And now we done got rid of our whole young core. So now we got a bunch of old heads that are hurt. LeBron was hurt this year. Rondo was hurt. JaVale McGee was hurt. Kuzma was hurt at one point in time. Katavis Caldwell Pope was in jail. He had the freaking ankle bracelet on. He can't go 100 yards outside of this freaking arena. Tell me how that works. I have no idea. But Magic Johnson, Luke Walton, the whole GM, the whole staff, they need to do something because LeBron, they, they got LeBron thinking we were going to automatically jump to a 4C, 3C in the playoffs. LeBron comes and we win. Two more games than we won without LeBron when we had Lonzo, Kuzma, Brandon Ingram. We didn't have JaVale McGee yet. We didn't have Lance Stevenson. We didn't have Rondo. We didn't have none of them yet. But we, we won two less games last season than we did this season with LeBron, with Rondo, with Lance Stevenson, with JaVale McGee. 
So like, I don't know. They gotta have to do something. They have to do something because we have no guards, and they gave away our draft pick. So we're gonna have to. I think we have like a, like a late, like a late second round from like two years ago when we traded. Who we get? We got away. We gave somebody away, and we traded draft picks. And I think we got a second round pick, which is like 20, 20 second or something like that. So we have a second round pick. Hopefully, we can pick up a guard because we have none. LeBron's a forward, Kuzma's a forward, Anthony Davis is a center slash forward. Catavis Caldwell Pope's a guard, but he's garbage. He's not good. Josh Hart was a good guard backup, and he's gone. It's, you know, it's a tough topic. We just, I just hope, I just hope that we can either pick up Kemba or Kyrie as a good starting guard, and that we draft a young player with a lot of potential. They might not have to be good in college, but they can learn a lot in the NBA. They play a good NBA style. They can shoot the ball. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I mean, Anthony Davis is going to produce. LeBron's going to produce. That's in all ways, but we can't depend on two bigs to carry our team. We need a guard who can lead. Like, if we had young Rondo, we would be straight. We'd be, we'd be back in the playoffs, probably second, third seed, but he's hurt and he's old. LeBron's he's on the He's on the down slope. He's going down. He's getting old. Knees starting to catch up to him. He's not jumping as high. Anthony Davis, not, not so much the same thing, but he's just, he's getting washed. He's, I think he's past his prime already, so we'll see. I don't really under, I don't really know, but draft's coming up soon. So that's it for me. That's my, that's my thoughts on the topic, on this subject. So in the comments, leave what you think. The Lakers should have done or what they could have done better, you know, to make the Lakers better. You know, just leave your opinions in the comments and I'll uh, see you guys next video. Can't forget Dante's outro.